Hello guys, it's Chris your YouTube Daddy here. Well, it's that time of the year. It's time that Nelly, sorry Jumbo, God, I've got a name wrong, got her new coat of paint. So she needs her new coat. So here we go guys. We're going to give Nelly the first coat. So we're going a little bit pinker this year. So this will take two coats. So I'll put the first coat on now. Because she does not get knocked about during the year. I don't know how old Nelly is, but I've been here nearly 20 years. And Nelly was here when I, when I got here. And I've had people tell me that uh, Nelly was here when Clayton used to own the arcade. Because it used to be called Clayton's Amusements. And that's got to be, or oh, 40 years ago. So I know she's been here for at least 40 years. May have even been before that. So do you like the colour? Only in Blackpool you can come and ride a pink elephant for 20p, eh, guys? Oh, it's actually the paint's going on very well, to be fair. It will definitely take two coats, though, but the paint is going on very well. So obviously once I've done the, uh, the two coats of pink, I've then just moved to the black seat. Well, I'll do that tomorrow because I've not got any black paint at the moment. I've run out of black paint. Yeah, the paint's going on very well, actually. Very, very nicely. Actually, it might do one coat. Well, well, we'll find out tomorrow anyway. So all I've done is I've mixed this paint up myself. Just with red and white, obviously, it turns into pink. That's why every year she gets a slightly different shade. Oh. Now do her legs. Yeah, I'll probably end up putting two coats out anyway because obviously the more paint I put on, the more protected she is for over the year. Because as you can imagine, uh, at 20 p a go, she gets an awful lot of use. The, uh, the, the stories which I like is sometimes I get people coming in, well actually quite a lot of times people coming in with their own children. And they said they remark to their own children that, oh my God, that's the same elephant that I used to play on when I was your age. So we've got parents coming along with their own children, playing on a ride that they used to play on when they were children. And the frightening thing is, is sometimes it's the parents I remember when they were kids. So then I think, how long have I actually been here for? So they come in, they go, oh my God, Chris, you're never still here, are you? I used to come in here when I was a, a child and now they're bringing in their own children and stuff like that. Yeah, this paint's going on very well, actually, guys. I hope I've got the uh, camera at the right angle so you can see me painting it actually. Just 
do down the legs. Top of the head. This will take a couple of uh, coats here because this is where most of the damage uh, happens. So Jumbo gets a V coat every year. So next time you come down and you see Jumbo, you'll be able to say, I watched him paint her. So do you like the shade of pink? I'm using this time. Oh, I'm just about to get a cloth because I've just dropped a little bit of paint on the floor. Better clean, better clean that up. Clean that paint up there. Right, let's have a quick look at the camera, see the, if everything's still working all right. Yep, that's still looking good. So I just need to paint her underbelly here. Try not to get any paint on the uh, metal framework but I, I will have to re I will have to repaint the metal framework anyway black I'll do that at the same time as I do uh, the seat the other reason I do a slightly different shade is because it makes it easier to know where I painted So you're getting all the trade secrets now, aren't you guys, of how we actually keep the place tidy and uh, fresh? This is exactly the same as they do it at fairgrounds and stuff like that. I've got to admit that paint is going on very well, that's what I was expecting. Make sure she's got a clean bum as well. There's nothing special about the paint, it's just gloss paint. But I'm obviously using the good quality gloss paint because it's going to last the whole season. See, people keep saying, why don't you get one of these modern rides? I don't want to get one of these modern rides. This goes in with what I like. 
the whole retro look and the whole going back to the old times and stuff like that. I do like the old fashioned arcade machines, fairground attractions, stuff that people can relate to when they were kids. And also you don't want to be coming here and trying to having to spend a quid on a ride, do you? <coughs> when you can come here and get a ride on Nelly for just 20 pence. I wonder how many of these are left about. There can't be that many of these left about, can there? See, after I've done this, painted it all up, then I need to go, go into the mechanism, the motor underneath, and also grease the motor underneath. Because she was squeaking a little bit by the end of the season. Uh, there's like a, uh, a grease nipple in there, a bit like on the old cars, where you squirt grease into it, into the motor. And then it... Uh, Uh, then it uh, puts grease in the motor for the rest of the time, which lasts about a season. But as I said, to be fair, she was used quite a lot last year, and by the end of the season, she was starting to squeak a little bit. But to be fair, we all start to squeak as we get older. I know I certainly do. Let's just clear around there. You can't see the other side I'm doing now. Well, let's just finish this bit off here. I'll just finish this bit on this side. So you can see the completed one side. And then I'll finish videoing and I'll just finish the other side off. And then possibly tomorrow or the next day, I'll do a video of me quickly just touching it up, you know, doing the black seat, doing the tail, uh, do the little bits on a pause and stuff like that. So oh, there's a little bit there, don't want to miss that. Oh, got a bit of paint on there, let's just take that paint off there. Doesn't matter because we're going to be painting this black anyway, so. Because the seat will take a couple of coats, because you can see on the seat where the black's been worn off. So what do you reckon guys? I've still got to do a, a, a nose and stuff like that. Let's just do a nose. Let's, I'm just going to go around the eyes now very carefully as well. Give a nice smile. We don't want to paint over our eyes. We don't want it to go blind, do we guys? Look at that steady hand there, guys. Can't you tell I don't drink? Should have been an artist, me. See, what a lot of people don't realise is when you do a job like this, now I didn't realise when I first got the arcade, that you have to be a jack of all trades. You have to be able to do absolutely everything. Obviously, the bigger the arcades, uh, have engineers and stuff like that to do it. But this is a one-man band, so it's down to me. It's just me who does all this kind of stuff. But like you say, that's what the winter's for, guys. That's why it's worse me having the time off in the winter. Because one, there's not enough people about anyway. And two, I can do all the maintenance myself which saves a lot of money. And then obviously, if I'm not spending out a lot of money, all I'm doing is creating myself a wage. So, I, that, so them savings are then passed on to the customer. Hence why she's only 20p a go, my burgers are still a quid, because I, uh, 
try to reduce my outgoings. And they say it's completely different to the larger arcades because they're obviously paid staff, they're paid shareholders and all that lot, which is fine because that's the way they want to do their business and everybody's got a choice of where they want to go. And I just like the whole original independent business, not corporate and all that lot. You know, some people like the whole corporate thing. I don't, I like, the, I like the personal touch. So you know the people. The people know you by name and you know them by name. So there's been people, the people who've been coming to this arcade since I've had the arcade, they were coming to the arcade before I owned the arcade, and they always come the same time every year. They paint, to be very careful there, because they're painting around the eye here. So the same families come round the round to the arcade the same week every year, and you see them coming in, and you see them, the families growing up, and the children having children, and the the, the parents becoming grandparents. And it's absolutely brilliant that they'll always remember you and you'll remember them. I've got people who come, because as a, a few of you probably know, that when me and Karen first came to Blackpool, we, we started off with a, a, a hotel. Uh, and it was a couple of years before we got the arcade. So we did the hotel for about 10 years. Uh, and so we got people who used to come to the hotel 20 years ago who had just got married or had young families who are now coming to the arcade uh, just because to see me or to see Karen and they're now bringing their children and their grandchildren it's absolutely fantastic to see that and as I said uh, and they'll come down and they'll play on the elephant and they'll put their grandchildren on the elephant because that's what they used to play on when they were children. And it's fantastic. It does make me feel old though. It really does make me feel old. Right. I've just got a little bit more, not much more to do now, just a little bit more, just do her trunk. I want me to do the top bit of there. I'll just finish this bit off the top here so you guys can see it and then I can finish filming. Trump took a bit of a battery this year. Poor old Jumbo, eh? She does not get knocked about. I say tomorrow I'll pick some black paint up and I'll go over it with the black paint. I might actually not need to do two coats on this. Well, we'll find out tomorrow, see if there's any streaks on it tomorrow. And we can have a look tomorrow when I come back down. Is that, yeah, I've got, I don't think it will need two coats. I'm hoping not, but uh, it is going on very well. it's a little bit lighter than it was last year let me just do it underneath her chin we've got to do a chin as well no double chin either that's not bad considering her age I wish I hadn't got a double chin at her age so I've still got a little bit to finish uh, underneath but you can't see the part that I've got to finish now so what do you reckon guys? Do you think she's looking better already? And she'll look a lot better once I've done a seat and stuff like that. So we'll uh, I'll keep you updated. I'll do a uh, I'll do the part of a video tomorrow because tomorrow's video will just be painting the the, uh, the black bits, which aren't gonna take long. 
and then cleaning the cleaning the bottom down and stuff like that, and then obviously greasing the uh, the grease nipple inside and stuff like that. Oh my God, I dropped a bit of paint over there. That wasn't good. Let me just clean that up. Let me just clean that paint up before it dries. There we go. That's better. I've got a cloth with white spirit on it here, which helps. Okay, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that uh, like button and don't forget to subscribe. And keep on watching me getting the arcade ready for the starter season. And don't forget the starter season for me is the Saturday, the 3rd of March. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll speak to you guys later. Bye for now.